Welcome back to our ProPresenter training. In this tutorial video, we're going to talk about how to create a playlist for a service and run that playlist during a service. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a playlist. So in the bottom left-hand corner, under the playlist window, there's a gear icon. We're going to click on the gear icon and we're going to select new playlist. Now the playlist can have any name you want it to have. I like to give it the the date that we're going to be using the playlist just to keep things simple and so that we know um, we know when it's being used but you could call it whatever you want you could call it Sunday morning Sunday night Wednesday kids service whatever you want to call it but I'm just going to give it a date now we need to add items to our playlist so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add three songs and then the sermon slides for that week so I'm going to go up to my library window and I'm going to look for some songs to add. The songs that we're doing this week, we're going to add Like a Lion. And then I'm just going to grab it and drag it down into the playlist window. And then I'm going to select another song. So I'm going to grab Mystery. I'm going to select Mystery and drag it down underneath Like a Lion. And let me select our last song. It's going to be Sacred Invitation. So I'm going to grab it and drag it down underneath. Now I'm going to go to our slides for the week that the pastor will be using. It's this July 19th and I'm going to grab it and I'm going to drag it down. Now the way this playlist works, it's it's drag and drop. So like you saw, you can drag from the library into the playlist, but you can also move items around. So if we show up on Sunday morning and the worship leader decides that we want to start with mystery instead of like a lion, I'm just going to grab mystery and I'm going to drag it to the top of, and it's going to reorder the playlist. And then we have in our main window our slides for those songs. Now you'll notice first of all we're looking at mystery and we see that we have verse 1, chorus, and bridge. Now, of course, we sing more than just that. So I'm going to go to the right, and there's this icon. kind of looks like a hierarchy chart. And if I hover over it, it says Slide Groups and Arrangements. I'm going to click on that. And then to the left, there is a gear window. Underneath the slide title, there's a gear window. So I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to select Normal. Now, when you first add a song, there is no arrangement, so you'll need to add a new arrangement. I just like to call it normal. You could call it whatever you want. So let's do this. Let's call this um, normal two. And again, you can call it whatever you want. If you do a song um, where you, you where you sing a song and then have welcome, and then you go back to that same song, you can do you can call it after welcome, uh, where you go back into the song. Uh, so you can have any name you want, but we're just going to call it Normal 2. And so when I click that gear icon, you see that I have Normal and Normal 2. Now if I click on Normal, so this is the way we sang the song last time. And you see at the at the top, you see some some gray um, some some gray icons, blank, verse one, chorus, and bridge. And those are the slides for this song. And then beneath that, there's a set of blue icons. And that's the slide arrangement of how we sang it last time. So last time we sang verse 1, and then we sang the chorus twice, and then verse 1 again, chorus twice, then we went to the bridge, sang that three times, and then the chorus four times to end. So that was the normal arrangement. So let's go to normal 2, and we're going to, um, and we're going to do a new arrangement. So you see that it first puts in all of the, all of the slides. Well, we're going to do verse 1, and then we're going to pause a moment. So I'm going to go and add another blank. And then we're going to do the, and then we're going to do verse 1 again. So I'll add verse 1 again. And this is just drag and drop. So I'm going to drag the chorus, and we're going to do the chorus twice. And then we're going to do the bridge twice. So I'm going to grab the bridge and drag it down to the arrangement. So we're going to do the bridge twice. And then we're going to do the chorus three times to end. So I'm going to grab chorus and drag it. Drag it from the master to the arrangement. 
and one more time of course drag it down to the arrangement and so there's our layout for how we're going to sing the song this week so we start with uh, with the musical intro so there's no words on the screen just the background and then we sing verse one and then we have a, a pause and another musical interlude where there's no words on the screen so we have just the, the background playing then we go back to verse one again and then the chorus twice the bridge twice and then the chorus three times so that's how we're going to sing that song this week now one thing that I want to point out you'll notice after I've made those changes when we go back to our our playlist you see that where it says mystery and to the left of mystery, the icon, the little page looking icon, that has turned orange. That means that changes have been made, but it has not been saved yet. So we need to save these changes. Now you can either go up to File and do Save As. And you can call it Mystery, rename it Mystery, Mystery 1, whatever. Or you can just hit Command S and it'll save everything that needs changing. So you'll see that that icon then has turned white to show that it has been saved. So now we're going to go down to the next song, Like a Lion. And I'm going to go back to the side group and arrangement icon. And then I'm going to go to the left and click on the gear icon. I'm going to select normal. And this is how we sang it last time. Now you'll notice that my blank slide here doesn't have any graphic in it. So I need to add a graphic to this. So I'm going to go up to my video image in the toolbar or you can also go to the view menu and go to the video image bin and I'm going to select a background to play. So for this song I'm going to use this Sparkles SD movie. I'm going to take that and I'm going to just drag it to this to this slide. So this is going to be the first slide of the song. I'm going to drag it there I'm going to release and you see there's the sparkles SD slide and then you see in our preview that's what it looks like so let me clear that and let's get rid of this video image bin so I'm going to click that and get rid of it so here's the arrangement this is the way we sang it last time and again we have at the top in the gray the master slides all the slides for this song and then Beneath that in blue, we have the arrangement slides and how we sing it um, each week, and it can change. And so last time we sang it, we started off with the musical intro, verse 1, pre-chorus, chorus, had a musical intro before we went into verse 2, and so on and so forth. Well, this time, just like we saw where we can add, add slides from the master we can also remove slides so if you hover over a slide you'll see an X to the right of that so we're not going to do this musical interlude between um, the first chorus and verse 2 so we're going to take out that blank slide so I'm just going to click on that X and it removes that and you see that down in the slides window that blank slide was removed other than that we're going to leave this song the same this week so there's this song and then Again, we've made changes to it, so you'll see that that icon is orange. I'm not going to save it just yet, though. Let me go ahead and move on to the next song. Again, we've got Sacred Invitation. I'm going to go to the Slide Groups and Arrangements icon and click on it. Go to the left to the gear icon, and I'm going to select Normal. And here's our arrangement for this week. And so what I'm going to do here is we're going to, after this verse 2, before we go into the pre-chorus, we're going to take a short interlude. So I'm going to grab a blank slide and I'm going to put it between verse 2 and pre-chorus 2. And I'm going to remove the blank slide before. Now you can also rearrange them in this arrangement. So I can grab that blank and put it before verse 2 or I can move it back to where it was. Okay, so I'm going to leave the changes like they are this week. Now you'll notice that we have in our playlist two icons that are orange showing that two things have um, have been changed but have not been saved yet. So I'm going to press the Command S key to save everything and you'll see that both of them have turned white. So both of those have been saved. And then after that we have our our slides from our pastor and 
We don't need to make any changes to those right now, so we'll just leave that as it is. So now when we come to the service, when we start, when the band gets up to start, we're going to start, we're going to click on the first slide and you'll see our, our preview display. This is what's showing on the screen at the front of, at the front of the sanctuary. And so they're playing their, their song, they're playing their intro. Now, as he gets into the song, I'm just going to use, you can either click on it to advance or you can use the right arrow key to move over to the next slide. Or you can use the left arrow key to back up and you'll see the highlighted yellow is a slide that is being shown. Now when you get to the end of the song, so we're here at the end of this song and we're ready to move on to the next song, I'm going to push the right arrow key to go to the next song, but you'll notice that it's moved to the next song but there's no yellow highlight and we're still on the last slide. So I'm going to push the right arrow key again to move to the next song. And that's the way you advance through the slides. Now one thing about timing, timing is very important when, uh, when running ProPresenter. It's very important to get the timing down right. When singing a song, you want to lead the you want to lead the band so that the words come up before the, before the band starts singing the words. That way, when when the people are singing, they know the words that are that are coming and they're not having to guess what the next words are. So you want to lead the band a little bit. Now, when we're doing verses or points during the sermon, you don't want to lead as much because you don't want the people to get too far ahead of what, um, of what the, the preacher is, is reading or what the preacher is saying. So when you're doing verses, let me clear the background. So when you're doing verses, as he gets to the end, and Rebecca's wife conceived, and the children struggled together. So you want to follow along with the, with the, uh, with the preacher and not lead the preacher too much. Now, you th there will be times when you'll want to clear the screen and clear everything off the screen, and that's what these clear icons are for. So you have a clear all that's going to clear everything, and you'll see that our display is blank. So let me go up here, and let me go to a song and put a background and words. And when I clear all, you'll see that it takes everything off, and now we just have a plain black background. Let me do that again. Let me have the background and words. Now, if I do clear slides, that all that's going to do is that's going to take the words off but leave the background. And there might be times where you'll want to do that as well. Let's put words back up. Now, the next one is I can clear the background but leave the words up. And then also, you can also have um, other things that are called props that are... Um, like callouts or um, or shadow boxes or things like that, you can clear those, and then also you can also have um, audio playing with the with the with the slides as well. And so you you might want to turn the audio off but leave the the slide up, or you can clear everything and just hit clear all. So that's the basics of how to create a playlist and how to run a playlist during the service.